from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. All right, I don't know about you, but I still just kind of have been haunted by the memories of last week. Of course, it was nice that we had snow at Christmas and all that, but right before it, it wasn't so nice. 17 last Friday, 29 on Christmas Eve, 41 Christmas Day, and then we made our big, big switch over today to 70 degrees. Is that not just absolutely amazing? Pretty happy about that. It's just nice break, and uh, some folks are taking down Christmas trees and Christmas lights. I'm not ready to give that up yet. 71 was a record high in 1964. We almost tied that record. It's amazing how we can just flip from one side to another. Tonight, rain and showers, mainly across the Arklatex area. And then also a few showers maybe southeast of, uh, Mus uh, of McAllister and southeast of Muskogee areas. There'll be a sprinkle, and that's about it. Out to the west, storm system, winter storm warnings in a few areas of the Rockies. Skiers are going to be delighted with that idea. It's colder there because this is a huge storm system there, but we had this mild shot. Came all the way up Chicago at 56, Cleveland at 56. And of course, this was the area that was hit with the massive ice storm and the terrible weather uh, that we showed you pictures of in the last 24 hours. Uh, so again, they're getting a brief break. Uh, up to the north, though, it is still bitterly cold. What does that mean? Well, that means winter's just starting, so we have to deal with that yet. But it doesn't look all that bad. So we have the severe weather and heavy rains tonight to our south and east. And then it's relatively quiet for tomorrow and again on into Saturday and Sunday based on the newest data. The big storm system, though, uh, digging deep into the southwest. That's on Sunday. That'll kick out on Monday, and so that'll see an increasing chance of rain here in eastern Oklahoma with showers and thunderstorms. Now, a few of those could be severe. Uh, mainly across extreme eastern Oklahoma, more likely Arkansas, but we'll be watching that one. And then behind that storm system, it gets a lot colder, gustier north winds. We don't get the true blue Arctic air magenta, just because it's magenta right now. But we are expecting cold enough, you want a good coat up. And then there could be a brief break, just with a little bit of a southwest wind, on some Friday into Saturday, and then we go back to colder weather. I don't know if you saw this, but the sunset tonight was great. It was absolutely gorgeous. And uh, this was, I think, possibly west of Bartlesville. Uh, we had one from Bixby just earlier. It's just stunning tonight. 50 degrees is the current temperature. Northwest wind at 8, 56% humidity, dew points at 35. Temperatures have dropped off because the cool front has moved on down into the area. So we'll have a few sprinkles again tonight through the early morning hours. Uh, and then they'll move on out real quick. Uh, we'll have northerly winds and temperatures in the 30s to around 40 degrees. And then as we go through tomorrow, it's a mix of sun and clouds and generally mid 50s. If you're in the southeast part of our area, you'll be around 60 degrees, which is again, great. And then we're getting down to our last day and of 2022. Hopefully, just last day of 2022. 30s in the morning to near 40 and in the afternoon, partly sunny and 60s. 60s. What a great way to end 2022. New Year's Eve should be great as well. Looking at the data, we should be near 50 in Tulsa. You should be at 45 to 50 if you're in outlying areas. Uh, so it's going to be great. And then the first day of the new year, 60. Similar to what we just went through, maybe a 70 degree reading or so. That's not too shabby. And then what about the rain? Yeah, the rain chances then show up as we go on into Monday. And there could be some heavy downpours of rain on Monday. Our forecast looks good. A little chilly in the morning. We'll be about 50 at noontime, 54 in the afternoon. Very, very pleasant because the winds will be light. So even though it's 54 and that's cool, still a heat wave compared to where we were. Rain and showers and thunderstorms on Monday. Here's that colder weather coming in as we go into Wednesday, Thursday. And Friday still looks okay. But that is a look at your nine-day planner. We will be right back with sports.